My oldest son, Zach, got his driver's license in February of 01. And to document, or take pictures of everything, if you looked around my house, I have pictures everywhere. I first discovered the picture um, right after that roll of film had been developed. I was going through the pictures and noticed an anomaly in, in the one. I was a little freaked out, man, a little bit. It was parked on the back side of our garage, so he had to pull it out of the garage. Um, he got into it and backing it by just started taking pictures. Um, kind of waved to him as he went down his way to the gas station to get this stuff done. I pulled the truck out here. Back up this way. This was all woods at the time. Now they a house that's there. And more or less, Right about here is where the car was backing up when that particular photo was taken. And I just came down the driveway and went on down the road. That house is actually in one of the pictures. And about a week later, I had the pictures developed and I was sitting in the kitchen putting them in order. Um, you're always allowed to touch my pictures until they get into the photo album. However, Zach picked them up and he wanted to see the pictures of himself in the truck. Um, and he asked me who was in the truck, and I said, what? What are you talking about? What truck? And he said, well, the day I got my driver's license and got to have the oil changed on the truck, and I said, there wasn't anybody in there. And he said, well, if you look at the picture, there's somebody sitting next to me. And I said, that's impossible. I took the pictures. I saw you back out of the garage and go down the street to the gas station. You were by yourself. There wasn't anybody in it. In most of the pictures, I was alone. So I looked at the picture that he showed me, and sure enough, there was someone sitting next to Zach on the front seat, but not the day that he went to get the oil changed in the picture. It was a little spooky, I'm not gonna lie to you. I didn't really know what to think of it. But, uh, it. It appeared to be an apparition of some sort. Yeah, you know, I don't disbelieve. I mean, after looking at that picture, it kind of makes you wonder about the unknown, things that you don't really know. So yeah, I, I guess, I guess I believe in them. Well, I don't think we're alone, if that's what you're asking.
truthfully, I didn't know I had it until after it already happened. When Zach sat next to me the day that we were going through the pictures, um, and and he he convinced me to take a closer look because he really thought there was somebody sitting next to him in the in, in the truck. At first, you're not really sure what to think. Um, you're not really sure if it's meant to harm him, if it's meant to keep him safe. Um, I I don't know. Kind of an odd odd kind of thing. Some people actually thought, and if they knew me, thought I did something with Photoshop, but if you knew my ability on computers, you would definitely know that's not a possibility. And the pictures were taken with a 35 millimeter camera. It wasn't digital, um, you know, so it was on film, and there wasn't anything that I would have even seen when I took the picture. But now that I look at it, you know, sometimes I think that maybe the shadows of the trees or something when Zach was backing out could have made the figure appear, but there's no way because you can see the shadows of the tree branches and it's very clear that they look like tree branches. <laughs> and the image that is sitting in the passenger seat is there's definitely, it's not like a real person, it's more like a, a shadowy light figure.
I'm not sure why it just appears in that picture. Or why it made itself known at all. I took the pictures and there was no one in the truck with Zach that day. When my husband got this truck, it was used, um, four-wheel drive, it was perfect, extra vehicle. Um, the front left end of the truck was damaged, and it wasn't severely, but it was damaged so that you know it hit something. We talked about the property and the vehicle itself and what would the connection be because the vehicle came to us from someone else and yet you know it's our property so I'm not sure if there would be a connection One of the former owners of this home, I think he, he might have passed away in the house, I'm not really sure. Um, we don't really hear creepy noises or anything <laughs> in the house at night. Um, as far as the yard, I don't know. I don't know much about that history, we never did research it.
Well, oddly enough, that night that uh, the photograph was taken, uh, since I, I had a pickup truck and my friend wanted to move, he wanted to borrow my pickup truck to do that. And uh, on my way back from moving all his stuff from one place to another, I almost got in an accident. And uh, it was the first night I had my license. I narrowly escaped a car crash. I wanted to think that maybe it was a guardian angel to protect Zach, um, since he had just gotten his driver's license. Um, you know, I have a lot of belief in God and faith, and thought, well, maybe that was just somebody to keep him safe. Uh, a lot of people see different images when they look at it. One told me he looked like a, a colonel, like a Confederate colonel during the Civil War. Uh, another said it looked like uh, perhaps my younger sister. A lot of the people I showed it to also knew my son Nick and my daughter Kara. And when they looked close, they thought that it was either Carol's long hair or Nick with a fur-colored coat. And nothing bad ever happened, so I'm sure that it was somebody who protected him. It's just pretty weird that when you look at it that you that you actually see a person in the passenger seat. I'm not sure what I think it is. If I really think about it just brings up more questions. <laughs>